Hey everybody and welcome to my October 2014 beauty favorites. I have a bag down here of all the stuff that I have been mostly using throughout the month of October, the stuff I've been gravitating towards the most. So I thought I'd share with you guys kind of my favorite products and then at the end I have a couple that are new to me but I'm still undecided about. I thought I would share them regardless and tell you how I feel about them but I wouldn't necessarily call them my favorite. Alright, first product is the Meat Matte Nude Palette from The Balm. I don't know why, but the past couple of months all I've wanted to wear is pretty much matte eyeshadow. So this palette here is awesome because that's exactly what it is. All matte eyeshadows. My favorite color is the one right here, although I like this one as well, and the brown right there. Um, so this has been coming in handy, absolutely. I wish some of the other shades, like the yellow and the blue and the stark white, were maybe something a little bit more usable on an everyday basis, but the colors that I do like in here I've been getting a lot of use out of. So that's the first product. The second one I've had for quite a while, this is the Tarte Power Couple, it's called. And it looks like that. And inside, it's a blush bronzer duo. Now, I have been using this bronzer here pretty much since I lost all tan that I had. Self tan, real tan, any kind of tan that I had, I've now lost it and I'm quite pale again. But this bronzer, it just, it's so nice. It blends so well and it's not orange at all, it's not muddy show you it there. It's not too dark. It just, I'm wearing it right now. It's just perfect for my pale skip skin tone. So I've been using that one pretty much every single day. What else do I have here? A skincare product. I got this in the most recent Ipsy bag unboxing. If you didn't watch that, I'll link it down below. But this is called APC Purifying Exfoliant. I've been keeping it in my shower and it's really nice. When it first comes out, it's kind of lotion-y and you don't think it's gonna do a whole lot. It reminds me of the Dr. Brandt micro exfol or microdermabrasion. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, so it's very, very fine grit, but once you get it working all over your face, it is amazing exfoliant. It gets right into every little pore and crevice and everything like that. My kids are downstairs if you can hear them. But it just leaves my skin feeling absolutely smooth, like it cleared everything out. So that is definitely a favorite. The next product is another product from Tarte that I've had forever. It's just a little sample size and it's the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. That's what it looks like. And um, this is gonna take me forever to go through. You just need the tiniest amount and I use it to set my under eye concealer and kind of on top of my eyes as well. It's a very fine translucent powder that doesn't um, make it too cakey or make anything crease. It just prevents creasing, so I really like it for that. It's not my all-time favorite. My all-time favorite is the NARS Light Reflecting Translucent Crystal Setting Powder, the one with the huge long name that I'm pretty much out of. So since I've run out of that, I've been reaching for this again. I'm gonna try and use up a lot of this before I buy the NARS one again, because it is really nice. It just doesn't have the light reflecting properties like the other one. The next product is a whole bunch of nail polishes. Now I was sent this brand of nail polish for review and I was quite skeptical when I was sent um, these nail polishes because I'd never heard of the brand before and I don't have the best of luck with a lot of nail polishes, but I got them two months ago and if you notice in most of my recent videos for about the past six weeks or so, I've had a different color nail polish every single week and for the most part it's been these nail polishes. Unfortunately, I just took my nail polish off right now so I can't show you it, but I've gone through, I had six colors of these and I've gone through every single one and I have a really good opinion on it now and it's called Madame Glam. Um, I believe they're only sold online, I'm not sure, I'll leave a link down below. A bunch of different colors, this one is Sangria Addict and this one is Midnight. The weird thing about these is that they don't look true to color. Like this looks like quite a pastel light purple. When you put it on your nails, it's quite a dark purple. Um, this one looks, I don't know, like it might be a little bit glittery, really pastel-y. Again, it's not like that. It's like a coral when you put it on your nails. And I actually like the way it looks on the nails better than the way it looks in the bottle. But anyways, the reason why it's my favorite is because it has amazing lasting power. I'm not even joking you. I can usually get away with too many, two maybe three days without chipping of any normal nail polish. This nail polish I hasn't even been wearing. I haven't even been wearing a top coat on it. Just two layers of it. It's very opaque as well, and it's lasting me upwards of a week for each color. It's not just like one color is amazing. All six colors that I have are amazing. So. I don't know. I uh, I own a lot of nail polish and I don't know if I'll really want to invest in some more but I might check out that brand again because to do the effort to do your nails and then have it last a week, it's more worth it in my opinion. 
What else do I have? All right, this I've also done a review on. This is the Unique um, Lashes System. It's the fiber lashes. Oh, they're gonna fall out, but there's a two-step system in there. I did a whole video on it. I'll link it down below, but it's kind of like false eyelashes, but not. You're building on top of your own eyelashes. I've been using it quite a lot, so not like on an everyday basis, but I'm going to film videos or I'm going to go out somewhere nice. Um, I've been adding it to my lashes just to add some extra length and volume, and it works out really well, and it comes off really easily, so I wanted to mention that. Okay, the last two products. Just checking to make sure it is the last two. Um, are relatively new to me. The first is from Hard Candy. Surprise, surprise, I'm always buying new things from Hard Candy. I might actually do a whole video on Hard Candy products again. I've done one in the past, my likes and dislikes. So let me know if you want to see that video. This would be in there. This is one of their palettes. It's newer and it's called Birthday Suit. And it's all matte, so obviously I was drawn towards it. Those are the colors there really inexpensive like well under ten dollars i want to say and my favorite color is definitely this like burnt orange color right here i have been using that quite a bit this one doesn't have too bad pigmentation and it's just a really flattering color in the crease i've been using that a lot um then a color next to it like the mauve color i've been using as well um, and then some darker colors i've been using but the lighter colors there's peachy and kind of beige ones don't have the best pigmentation or a little bit powdery so this one's hit or miss. Um, if you don't mind splurging a little bit on the money, I would say some of these colors are worth it because it is really inexpensive, but overall as a palette, I wouldn't call it my favorite palette. So I wanted to mention that. And the second product, which is relatively new to me, is from Cody, and it's the Original Formula Airspun Loose Face Powder. I got this in the States, I think at Target or Walmart. I can't remember. Anyways, I've heard a lot about this from Tati's channel. I'll link her down below if you don't watch her. She's a super big beauty guru and she swears by this stuff. I have used it a number of times. It's a loose powder. Just I use it as a setting powder and it's translucent. And it's really nice, leaves a beautiful finish, makes my makeup stand really well and stay matte. So I love it for that. But it's got this really powerful, perfumey scent that I don't know if I can get past. So that's number one con. And the second con is that it's a loose powder and I'm just not a huge fan of loose powders all over my face. I feel like I'm inhaling it too much. I just feel like this might be a little bit extra chemically. It says since 1935, so I don't know. I just have a feeling there's a lot of extra chemicals in here that are maybe unnecessary. I'll look into it a little bit more. If you use this, let me know, um, but I don't think I can get past the perfumey scent of it. It was really inexpensive though, and it worked good, so I wanted to put it in this video, so I don't know on that one. But yeah, that is pretty much it for my October beauty favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any questions or comments down below in the description, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!